Microsoft Query is by far the easiest and cleanest way of importing data into your Excel projects. Get your pen and papers ready as this will change the way you create your reports going forward. Stay tuned. In this demo, we will be using a Microsoft Access Database file as our data source and we will retrieve data using specified parameters. First, let us take a quick look at our data. We have a sample query prepared ahead of time. The query shows countries, cities, and provinces. Let us close the database file and return to Excel. We will first need to specify a cell that will contain our parameters. We want to retrieve data by country name only. Now to begin. From the data tab, select from external sources then from Microsoft Query. Next, select Microsoft Access Database then OK. Browse to the location of your database then select the MS Access file. When presented with the wizard, select the data table or view you want. Then move over the columns you want in your query. Select next. We don't want to add filters as yet, so let's move on. Sort country name in ascending order if you wish. Then edit your query in Microsoft Query. Click on the show criteria icon, then drag the field you want to use for your parameter to the criteria field. In the value field, specify your parameter using the following syntax. Then go to File, Return Data to Microsoft Excel. On the Import Data prompt, you will notice that the options to create pivot tables and charts are disabled. This is because we have parameters in our query. I will show you the pivot table method in another video. Select the location where you want the table data to begin. Let's select cell A6. Select the cell prepared earlier for your parameter value. Then. Select the two checkboxes if you want the table to be updated dynamically. Once the parameter is changed, the data in the table will also change. Another advantage is the ability to reference fields as opposed to ranges. To demonstrate this, let us count the number of records being retrieved. 